Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right, thank you. Seems like you're man of the hour at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty mental. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, overwhelming sometimes, but it's very, very nice. Yeah, I mean, the response to that tweet is just phenomenal. Do you get that like all the time? Or? Um, well, definitely in the last week. I mean, if I did it like a week before that, no one would have cared. But <laughs> <laughs> but now uh, everyone's, um, yeah, everyone's, uh, the character went down really well. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very cool at the moment. And thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. Our pleasure. So you promised to dish us the dirt on the Daredevil cast. So we would love to know mm. what Vincent smells like, what Wilson's favourite colour is, and what Deborah's favourite <laughs> karaoke song is. <laughs> <laughs> um, Vincent D'Onofrio smells like a, a fresh meadow breeze. He <laughs> uh, actually always smells really good, actually, for a, for a, um, a huge crime boss. He's <laughs> got a lovely scent about yes. him. Um Wilson's favourite colour um, is probably whatever shade of colour my skin is. <laughs> um, and um, I don't know what Deborah's karaoke song is, actually. It's probably the theme song of Dungeons and Dragons. Right. <laughs> I mean, are you saying you she never went out and, and did karaoke at all? Didn't, actually. We were too busy working. But I'm <laughs> yeah. sure that we will at some point. I'm sure we will. Yeah, fantastic. Talking about favourite fight scenes, because I mean, Daredevil was just so well known for the fight scenes. Um, in season three, you uh -huh. had Daredevil versus Bullseye and you had the prison riot scene. What was your favourite? Um, I think it was uh, Daredevil Bullseye one, just because uh, just the tension that had led up to that. And it was the first time we were really seeing, I mean, apart from the first part where he, he, he uh, saves Wilson Fisk, from the Albanians, like seeing him in the suit and um, just the tension in that scene. I remember when we first saw it, they showed it at Comic-Con and we were, cause we haven't seen anything at that point. Okay. And when they showed that scene, it was just unbelievable. It was just such a great, great scene. And like the soundtrack as well. And you know, yeah, it really gets your heart, heartbeat going. And um, that, that was the one that really blew me away was the bulletin fight scene. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a highlight of the show. So yeah. we've got so many fan questions to go through. I, I've like really limited my questions. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> first one is at Nurse Chatting. They said, did you have the same reaction as we did when Dex took his shirt off? It seems like there's a bit of like you and a Dex sort of a bromance yeah. going on here. Well, there's a lot of questions about that. <laughs> Yeah, well, first of all, like me and me and Wilson are like good, good mates because we were like the, the new kids for this season, so we bonded straight away, and um, we dig at each other a lot. <laughs> and um, it started because he posted these pictures on it on 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 Twitter from like a shower scene, yeah. And then we went back and forth, and then it started this thing where we've got a bit of a bromance. Um, <laughs> so what was my reaction to it? Ah, uh, he. Uh, well, I've seen it so many times before. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> do you know what's crazy about him? Do you know what's crazy about him? most people when they have like a, a topless scene, like don't eat for like a week before. Right. This psycho is eating like pasta and pizza and cakes, what? and he's just like the got the most amazing genetics and genes that anything he eats doesn't touch him. I mean, he he ate like a pig. <laughs> it was unbelievable, but he's absolutely ripped. Um, so that's what the most amazing thing is. Like you, you're waiting for him to look really bad, <laughs> but he doesn't. He looks great. Damn it. So yeah, we all hated him. We hated him. That's how I felt. I just had envy. <laughs> nice. Uh, so next one's from mm. Matthew Fisher at Couch Potato MVP. Uh, did you read any Daredevil or Marvel comics to prepare for the series? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, I... Um, because my character was like an original character, yeah. I didn't really need to do that much homework beforehand. And um, because he's new to the world, I didn't really need to know what was going on beforehand. Um, so no, I didn't. I mean, like I, I was always into comics when I was younger, but um, no, I don't. I don't remember ever reading any anything to put. I mean, I watched the first two seasons, which were amazing. Um, but in terms of for the character, no, not really. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, next up is Jack and the Geek Stalk. Who was more intense to work with, Charlie Cox or Wilson Beth? <laughs> Charlie, I think, because Wilson's just oh. a nutcase. He, we're always like laughing around. That's the thing. He, the, the thing which is so amazing about watching Wilson is he's he's such a joker. 
Like we we <laughs> lot. I mean, in between takes, and even when we're doing, and if I had an outtakes reel, it would just be me and him laughing at each other. <laughs> Literally, yeah. just be hours of that. Um, so, um, but Charlie's like, you know, very, um, you know, he knows his character so well and he knows what, how he would react to certain situations and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it was, it was working with, uh, probably it was more intense working with, um, with, with Charlie. Yeah. I mean, and you, you two are the two Brits on the block, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We had a good laugh as well. Don't get me wrong, but, um. You know, he, he, you know, he, he just wants to make sure he's very truthful to, you know, the the character of, of Daredevil. So he, uh, yeah, he really gets into it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so Hazel at Charlie Cox said, what is Agent Nadim's hair routine? <laughs> My personal favourite. <laughs> that, that's funny. Um, nothing. <laughs> I just woke up like this. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Just a good, a good amount of grease. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't, the, the hair department did a great job. I mean, I think I'm getting more uh, uh, plaudits for my hair than my performance, uh, which is nice. Um, but um, yeah, no, I, I don't really have one, to be honest with you. Most of the time it looks like a mess, um, but for the show, they, they toned it down and made it look more stylish. Yeah, stylish mess. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, stylish, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Chris loves Matthew uh, at Matt Murdock said, favourite Dexray scene, mine's all of them. <laughs> Oh, the one when he comes to the house is is pretty intense. Yes. Um, I enjoyed doing that with him. And um, obviously the scene where you know what happens, um, they're, they're always, uh, them two, yeah, were the ones that stand out for me. It's crazy. We did such an intense scene, but, you know, in between takes, you know, we're laughing and joking around and stuff, and then we get back to it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um so, yeah, well, we had a lot of really good scenes. We always had a lot of good fun. So it was nothing but really good memories. It's amazing that it came across like so serious on screen because I remember <laughs> in, in between what, what a laugh it was. So, yeah. 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 Nice. Uh, so Maddie Point Dexter at Killmonger said, has Jay seen Infinity War? And if so, who does he think is the strongest Avenger? I need to know it's important. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's funny. Um, I have seen Infinity War. We uh, we actually got a little secret screening before it came out, nice. which was super cool. Joe Casada set that up for us. Um, yeah, he's really impressed me in the last. I mean, he's always been great, but like Thor, uh, oh. since, since Ragnarok, and then you know he's he's become the most powerful one as well now. Definitely. Um, and he's super funny, man. He's like he cracks me up. Um, yeah. I'd say I'd say it's, it's Thor for sure. Um, I really, I mean, I, all of them are really good, but I, I think he speaks to my sense of humour a lot more. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so let at Bereptissa, let me say that. Um, who wore the DD suit better, Charlie or Wilson? <laughs> well, I never saw Charlie in it, like, in real life, you know. I only saw it, it in the, black the suit, second season. It? Yeah, he wore the black suit all of this season. So I've only really seen Wilson in it, and he fills it up nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it looks cool on him. And also with that ridiculous square jaw that he's got, you know, yes. it's like him and the Mark, he looks great in it. He looks super cool in it. So only because I haven't seen Charlie in real life in the suit, I'd have to go with uh, Wilson. I saw Charlie said something about his butt looks better, but I wouldn't yeah. know anything about that. Of course not, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, so Sophie at Captain Mull said, are you aware that you have Disney Prince hair? <laughs> I am aware now. Yeah. <laughs> I am aware now. Before, I didn't really know. I think I've been compared to Aladdin and uh, Eric from uh, The Little Mermaid, which right. are both lovely comparisons to have. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, apparently I do. Apparently I do. Unfortunately, I'm too old to play a Disney prince. But, um, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's <laughs> funny because they don't know it's actually a toupee. I'm uh, <laughs> totally bald on top, and it's just hair at the sides. You've I crushed, look like a monk at night. <laughs> you've crushed everyone's dreams there. <laughs> yeah i know i know spoiler <laughs> hazel at charlie cox said did anyone in the cast pull any pranks on set no not really i mean like we do stuff like you know we had a lot of night shoots so um <laughs> poor poor wilson had to do like literally like three weeks full of night shoots so he was a mess and he was doing all these intense fight scenes as well so any chance he'd get to take a nap he'd do it so when we we're shooting <laughs> at the church you'd just find a pew and fall asleep and we'd do stuff like put stuff on him 
you know, balance thing, things on him. I think I've got pictures. I'll have to post them sometime of us just <laughs> yeah. balancing thing on him in a daredevil suit, you know, with just with like a Bible on his head. Um, <laughs> All curled up. So that's, a, yeah, that's the kind of stuff we did. But um, yeah, we didn't really have much time to pull really crazy pranks, but I would have liked to. Also, you don't really know how people are going to respond to it. You know, imagine pulling a prank on Vincent D'Onofrio. That yeah, could be interesting. so sometimes you just you have to choose your audience. Sometimes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Spookyville at Lazarus Ludgate said, "Who in the cast has the best and worst music taste?" Now, that's a tricky one, I guess. I don't know because, like, I always liked whenever we went into like hair and makeup. I always liked putting my music on, and um, but no one else really did. Everyone liked to be like pretty quiet, so they probably hated me coming in. Um, but some people really didn't like my music, but. Um, I don't know who'd have the worst taste. I'd go Charlie because he's an old man. Yeah, there seems to be this I running he's joke. He's got probably worst taste. Yeah, <laughs> well, basically, it's it's a running joke because like he doesn't. Well, fair play to him. I mean, like he doesn't do any of the social media and all that stuff, and he dresses like an old man. <laughs> um, so I I, I probably I give him a bit of stick for that. But yeah. I, I don't really know to be honest with you. But I'm gonna if I had to guess, it'd be Charlie had the worst taste and I had the best taste. Fair play. Despite what people think. Yeah. Solid yeah. answer. <laughs> yeah. Solid, yeah. Yeah. So Sylvia at Valix Swift said, How long till a buddy cop movie starring you and Wilson? It's in the works right now. I'm writing it as we speak. No. <laughs> yeah. Um unfortunately he's uh he's uh in Marvel now. So um I don't think it would happen for a while. Um but yeah, that would be funny if we if we did do it. Maybe one day down the line. I mean a lot of people said it. A lot of people have said it just because we like you know, we we have a good laugh with each other, and um, a lot of people on the cast and crew and everyone was saying, you know, we we should do that. But I don't know, I don't know. It'd be funny. It'd be great to do it one day. But um, you know, he's he's too busy being a big Marvel superstar now. Yeah, poofed. <laughs> Maybe if they do like mm. you know, like the uh, special features when they release the DVD and Blu-ray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could do something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll run it past him. See when he's free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Chris loves Matthew at M- Murdoch said, "Did you know Ray was going to die when you got the part? And how hard did you cry?" <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't know when I got the part. Um, Eric, the showrunner, um, basically gave everyone an option to say, "Do you want to know what happens through the season?" Or you don't. I like to know. Um, so we sat down. He told me what the arc was of the character and what was going to happen. Um, and then we got to like halfway through the season and there was discussions of, we, sh- we might keep you alive. But I said, you know, for the purpose of the story and for the character arc and what Eric wanted to get across about how, you know, fear and power and corruption impacts, you know, the, the average American, you know, I was like, if you wouldn't get that point across, we really should call it a day for him. Um, so, uh, and no, I didn't cry that much. Wilson cried more than I did. <laughs> of course. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. It's been a blast. It really has. Ah, uh, thank you so much. It's been great and love to everyone in England. <laughs>